Hi everyone, this is Teo from Prakablocks.com. For this week's book review, I'm going to feature the art books for the Japanese animation Taekwon King Creed. There are three art books for the animated film Taekwon King Creed. These two features the scene designs and environment art. The other art book which I did not buy features character designs. So this art book with the white cover, it features colored illustrations. This with the black cover, it features some colored illustrations with pencil drawings. I bought these two art books many years ago and this book has uh, started to turn yellow. But it's still in pretty good condition. Among the two, my favorite is actually this book. I will show you why later. But let's take a look at uh, the art inside this book first. Now the art director, if I'm not wrong, is this guy called Shinji Kimura. I'm not sure if he is the only artist who contributed artwork for the film. Probably not because it would be insane to draw so many pages of art. The art in this book is extremely detailed and it's just amazing. You will be able to find some of these images online when you google Taekwon can create background art but I think it's just worth it to have all the art collected in a book like this and this book is printed in Japan the quality of Japanese art books they are really top-notch the binding is perfect the paper is matte non-shiny and the color reproduction is wonderful so I've never regretted buying any Japanese art books before because they really have very high quality art books when it comes to uh, production quality but of course the art inside um, the film is equally as impressive there are 260 over pages in this art book and as you can probably see there are a lot of colored illustrations some are printed a bit small but some are printed much larger. I would love to see the actual size of all these uh, artworks, but um, even when I'm looking at them like this, I'm just uh, blown away. Each piece probably took a few days to draw and paint. This is a Japanese art book, so there is no um, any caption. Or at least the caption, the interviews, they are all in Japanese right at the back of the book. I find great inspiration whenever I look through um, art books like this. And I love the architecture, even though all these uh, scenes, they are actually imagined, they are actually concept art for the film. Alright, let me flip to the back. So we have a lot of artwork. Interior design, architectural, even scenes like construction yachts, it's drawn so beautifully. So these are some of the key scenes, if I'm not wrong. This is right at the back of the film and that's the interview with the art director. And 260 over pages in this white cover art book. Let's take a look at this. By the way, you may see some discoloration that's because I accidentally sprayed some fixative over the cover and this art book it flips from the other side so this white book it flips normally but this flips in Japanese style from the right to the left there are some brilliant uh, very detailed illustrations as well that are not 
feature in the white book just look at the amount of detail there are this is a very stylized sketch this too is very stylized so some of these artworks here in the black cover book they are a bit more stylized a bit more painterly let me flip over to the section where I like so half of the book features the painterly small stylized artwork the other half features the pencil drawings and the pencil drawings here are just incredible I need to zoom in I need to zoom in so that you can take a closer look at the amazing artwork now some of this pencil art they are actually painted over and featured in the other art book so these are the line art the draft check out all the details now the style that is used to draw all these uh, artworks it's quite similar to pen and ink style I do not see a lot of shading but I see a lot of cross hatching so instead of using the traditional pen and ink techniques um, instead of using pen the artists used pencils so this is definitely traditional art for the color illustration I'm not too sure whether or not they were digital paintings but when I look at something like this this is definitely traditional art and I see some corrections as well so there were some paper that's cut and pasted over so there could be some corrections that were done so that's how they do uh, corrections to pencil drawings instead of erasing they cut and paste another piece of paper over wow check out this um, illustration and this is from another perspective this is also from another perspective the composition for many of these scenes they are really just amazing this kind of scenes it's very difficult to draw from real life because you are looking upwards and it's quite tiring on the neck just look at the amount of details that are in this room I bought this book on Amazon Japan you can probably find it on Amazon USA but not, I am not sure about the price because I cannot remember it but if you are interested in pen and ink art um, at least that style of drawing or pencil art Japanese animation background art I think these two books they are very good uh, for use as reference very inspiring as well this book is a bit thinner compared to the earlier book wow check out the temple if I have to draw a temple like that I would probably take one two three full days to draw it because of the amount of detail that's inside very detailed cityscape so this uh, is a different variation it looks like different stages of construction so uh, there was some construction going on here so they cleared the land and they built an amusement park there and that's all to this book 
So that's all for this week's book review. If you want to find out where you can get these books, I will post the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.